Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another demonstration of 30 minutes with the Genome sewing machine. My name is Céline Ross, and I am an educator for Genome Canada. I am recording this short video, but I'm here just in case I don't come back from Europe in time for my um, my life so i didn't want you to miss me too much so i said oh, i'm going to uh, make sure they have all the they receive all the knowledge until uh, i come back so today we will study the eyelet so as you see it could be decorative so i have some on my jean shirt if you remember last time i did on the other side, I did the um, the darning stitch, and on this side, I'm doing the um, uh, eyelet. Of course, as usual, I'm practicing. Huh? I have to, we have to practice, and here is my practice, as you can see, and. Uh, here is my my um, what I tried always with the um, uh, variegated thread, but you don't see maybe all the details when it's variegated. So here for you, I will do with the uh, genome is red. So I'm going to use the red thread to show you something similar. So there, these stitches are useful, helpful but they also are decorative so if you if you look at my sample i know it's red on red but i didn't put i didn't want to put the emphasis emphasis on my um, border i want to do it on my fabric but i do practice so in the continental m17 there are five of the eyelet, five different model of eyelet. So my eyelets are, are here, while the other option here is, is not an option, the other category is uh, darning. So darning eyelet. I will remove my panel, exercise panel, to work on the fabric, okay? So if I go, whoops, if I go, on the screen okay and you see your utility stitches are there you want to see them all there's uh, an icon here and you see all the utility stitches in the buttonhole section which is the next one well you have everything which is in the same i should say family or category so you have your buttonholes, sewing a bottle, mending or darn, whoops, darning. This is not what I want to do. Okay. Bar tack. Um, well, what's the word on this? Uh, in English, there's no word here. Uh, in French, we call them bride, but it's to, to finish, uh, to tack uh, um, an opening pockets or um, slit or okay and we have the eyelet section there is five one two three four five and i did them all here is whoops whoops whoop, 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 whoop. here okay ay, ay, ay. so one two three four five of them okay now if I want, I can say, okay, I'm going to do the, um, this one. But on the machine, we have something else that I didn't tell you in the pro previous uh, demonstration. So I'm coming in the house. I'm going to sewing application mode. And do I have an application with these... Um, these designs, not here, not here, not here. Hmm. Hold on, shell top line, 
Top stitch. Tag. Okay. You see? Basting. Buttonhole. Button. Tacking. So I could last week use these function here. I could use them. But this week I'm coming to eyelet. So last week I showed you manually, directly from the screen. And this week I'll show you from the application uh, technique. There's no difference between the two of them. It will produce the same, same thing. Same eyelet or same tacking. But here, here it's everything is pre, pre, uh, pre program, preset. Okay. So round teardrops, oval, decorative, another decorative. Okay. Let's start. And again, same thing, you know, you can have the S2, which is supposed to be standard, but three for thicker fabric and S1 for thinner fabric. I can adjust my tension if I want, and I can also adjust my uh, the the height of the foot. Okay, if I touch this icon here, you see the same thing. But when you like one, you want to keep it in the favorite favorite stitch. Okay, to save in the favorite, to take out of the fa favorite uh, favorite stitch. Um, folder and to put in the garbage okay or delete or whatever okay default of course okay so let's start and i put red thread from the genomic color okay and the machine tells me oh i'm not at the right place okay and the mesh oh and my luminous Oh, 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 let me make more lights. Okay. Whoops. So I think, yeah, I think I'm okay now. So the machine tells me F foot. And this is what I put. F or F1. Uh, F1, this is F1. Or F2, there's no problem. Both of them. Okay. So I'm going to without any changes do the round eyelet s2 and you see when i do my samples i i write down what i did to 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 come back and and i don't have to search them this is an exorcist panel huh? so and this time i don't go that fast i'll put my my um see my cursor in the middle. If I go too fast, you know what I want? I want an eyelet round like this. I don't want it like that, and I don't want it like this. Okay? So don't go too fast. I'll show you a few little tricks. Let's go. I let it go. Okay. Turn around and come back. And I remove the automatic thread cutter. Lift my foot and move at the back. I'll show you one difference. So I'll go to F1 this time. You see? S1. And I'll do S3. And then I touch nothing. I'll let it go. S1 and then S3 up to move. Uh, start maybe, yeah. Okay, let's exam. Well, it's not bad at all, either one. But let's say you want it really strong, really dense, okay? One time, I don't touch anything. I really don't touch and I restart. It'll be thicker and stronger. Twice is your maximum that you can go around. You cannot do, well, it's not proper to do. And hey, look at the difference between them. Oh, maybe. Well, this one is not very nice because I'm at S3. Let's do S2. 
You see, this is what I said. This is a, an exercise panel. Okay, one time, second time, and I'm an S2, I was an S3. I think I'll be, it'll be perfect, this one. I'm cl clipping the thread to show you. Oh, look at it, this is a perfect job. I don't want to use the thread cutter because I want it, I, I want it to start with a good tension. But you see how thick it is compared to this here? Well, you can do the same thing to all of them. So let's do it. Okay. And I have that, that thing on top of my, uh, I, I could do this. See? Foot down. And make sure my tension is, my thread is up. Now I'm going to do teardrop. Maybe I'm too, maybe here. Okay. Don't want to go too fast because you get a distortion. Huh? So I'm staying at, as it's pre-programmed, S2. And I'm going to do S2 twice. Oh, why are you doing this, you? Okay, once I move nothing, start again. It's going right over. And why would I need S1, S2, S3? Why would I choose each, uh, one of each? Okay, it's just because... Oh, gee, I didn't want to do this. I want to lift my foot. You see how much thicker it is, stronger. and st It depends always of the fabric. What's the reaction of the fabric? This, to me, looks weak. But if you want to do it as decoration, not useful, it's perfect. But if you want to go with a cording or something, you want to open the center, well... You need a stronger, um, a stronger um, uh, stitch. Okay, let's say S3 for the same one, just to see what's what's gonna happen. I wanna do each of them. Then you'll understand. Well, it's perfect. Let's say S1, and when I change, okay. It's perfect. You know, the closing is perfect. When I say it's perfect, the closing is perfect. And sometimes there's a gap, huh? There's a gap sometimes. Okay, foot up, even, you know, teardrop, S1, S2, S3 is perfect. Now we'll try with the oval. You cannot enlarge these bigger than the foot you have a nine millimeter foot huh? so the machine cannot sew over the foot okay s2 now let's try s3 hmm. i have a good machine <laughs> so far nothing is bad and S1. Hmm. Okay. Up. I hope you see the little opening here. So you see S3 was too open for the thickness of my fabric. You always do this with uh, or stiffen the fabric with uh, I use Terial Magic or with the tear away underneath. You cannot do this, you know, you'll shrink your fabric. Now let's go trying, I'm going to pull my thread on the side. Let's go, this was oval and oval, I wanna do it uh, two, two times, one on top of the other. once 
and I use S3. I don't cut my thread. This is one another reason why I do not want to cut my thread because I want to go over twice. Okay, foot up. It's not that bad and it's not that great. I'll try S2. You really have to do your, your testing. And the way you test, you have to test in the same fabric that you're going to do the, um, the real work, the real eyelet. Okay, second time over S2. I'm gonna lift the foot. Hey, look how perfect it is. This is perfect, okay? And now I'm on decorative eyelet. This one looks like the sun because of the ray. You'll see. S2. Now I'm going to try S1. You remember, I huh? slow down the speed. Okay. And now S, whoops, S3, lift the foot to move. And then I'll go over twice, just to be able to compare. I don't move, second time. Not nice at all. You'll see when I'll show you a close up. And the last one is decorative eyelet two. I'm gonna give myself a space because it is a long one. It's decorative, but it is longer because of the decoration. So this was S2, now, oh, no, 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 Whoop. S3, and I will not go over twice, y you'll, you'll understand why. I did it previously, but you'll see, see sometimes it's, it's, it's not nice. It's like you have two on top of the other one, but it shows it's not exactly the same. So that was S3, and now S1. So the Continental M17 has five eyelet of uh, nine millimeter with each of them. Okay, now I'm going to do twice. You'll see what I need. Whoa, 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 it's not what I want. I want, uh, oh, okay. Bah, go, oh, sorry. Okay, so first time. With uh, one color thread, you see better than uh, with variegated thread. So this is the first time. Now I'm gonna start a second time over. I should slow down a bit to make sure it won't distortion. And then I'll bring them closer to you. I could use uh, F2, huh, I said, and I like, this time I have a red tip needle. You know, needle, foot, the speed, the machine, uh, 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 everything works together. Okay, I clip my thread and as a big, an habit that I have, as soon as I clip my thread inside the foot, under the foot, in the foot holder, ready for the next one. Uh, oops, I went too far. No, maybe like this, you'll see better. So, of course, I will have to cut the, these thread, but like I say, I prefer to cut them than having the white coming on top of it, you know? So I have a perfect tension, you see? I have a perfect tension between them. The, the thread is perfect. So the, the thread tension is perfect. Okay, here, 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 here. Okay, let me show you what I'm what I'm talking about. 
Oops. Okay. You see, I went I went over twice. Look how not nice it is. Oval. Okay. Uh, I went over twice. Not nice. Not nice. It's not always. That. It is nice when it is S2. S3 here. You see? Not nice. But very nice. Very nice. Very nice. You see, it's you have to try. Okay? And with variegated thread. So you see, I was at the S2 I wrote. Look, it wasn't nice. S1, S2, S3, not nice. I went over twice. Not good. It, it's not exactly the same thing. Whatever I did here is perfect. All of them. You see, there's a little bit of opening here. Very nice. Ugly. Uh, ugly here, yeah. Ugly. Okay, it doesn't suit. And you see these here, the, the, whatever I did is okay, but just I went over one. So S1, S2, S3, I went over once. Okay, so this fabric has um, a, a thick backing. If I don't have a thick backing and I keep cutting my thread uh, on top and on reverse, on the, on the wrong side of the fabric. But let's see my shirt now. Okay, so the shirt, it's too close. So the shirt here, this is what I did. And see, I put tear away underneath before, just before. I put tear away to make sure that I have... Uh, if I don't put tear away, it'll shrink. You know, you'll have uh, something similar to this. Now, this is not nice, okay? When it's not nice, you don't leave it there, okay? This is a shirt. This is not a exact, uh, this is not a, 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 this, a panel to discover. So you'll end up with no problem to remove. You know those little scissors that come with your machine? So you clip at the back the white thread once in a while, okay? Hold on, undo it. I'd be careful. I don't want to go too deep and clip my uh, my shirt. Huh? I want I want to wear that shirt. Okay, when it's done, and I have my tear away that protects my fabric, then I just have to pull, catch and pull with a pair of tweezers uh, the, the the stitches that I cut. If I miss them, I just go back and uh, I just go back. This one will be a little bit harder to take because I went over twice and it wasn't good. So then I be careful with my little scissors. I cut the excess of, uh, of thread and then I keep pulling. And it doesn't damage. Well, of course, if you do this on pure silk, on velvet or, you know, well, of course, it's going to damage your fabric. But here, this is cotton. So I'm coming, I'm coming back. You see, I can remove everything. So I have a bit of thread. I don't want to cut my denim shirt, which is cotton. And I keep cleaning it. Almost done. But I want to show you that you can repair easily. If you're on um, stretchy fabric, oh, oh, that is bad. Really bad. Because as soon as you make a mistake, you, you end up with the hole. Huh? And the hole on the, on the knit, well, you cannot repair. You, can, you could repair, but it is uh, very bad, huh? Almost finished. I just want to prove you that nothing shows after. After you remove. Almost, almost. Be careful not to cut the shirt. Now I'm coming back. And what helps me is the tear away. I'm almost done. 
blue thread. So, so if I don't show you exactly where it was, it's hard to find, huh? I'll do this. It was right here. What do you see? And it's important when you undo stitches, do it right away. Don't do it the next day because it gives time to the um, fabric to memorize the stitches. Okay. So see like this one, it's not nice. I did maybe S3 or S1. I don't know. It's not nice. You see, it doesn't, what? It doesn't complete good. It's distortion. I have to remove this. I have to remove this, this one. See the big gap. Okay. Perfect. Not perfect. Not perfect. You know what? <laughs> you, you, on a, on a garment, you don't try. You try here. On a garment, you do the pro, the finished project, uh, the finished uh, stitch, which is not hard to undo. Uh, I can uh, do it. Uh, there's no problem, you know. Sewing is uh, also undoing some stitches. Huh? So, fr so from last, no, I'm too close. From last week and this week. And you see the difference. So really utility stitches could be, they can be decorative, decorative stitch. And you see, I'm cut, I'm cutting, removing my thread. It doesn't take much, doesn't take long. And it gives me a good tension right at the beginning. And with an, with a, an, uh, 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 electronic machine, you have the ability to say to the machine, cut or don't cut the, the begin, uh, the, your thread. I'm just going to clean it. So look, look how fast it was. But if you want to do a good job, of course you have to do the back. Huh? You have to clean the whole thing. But it's is as easy as um, as uh, what I'm showing you. Now, how do I remove the the cutter, the the thread cutter? Okay. So it's here. I'm sewing thread cutter after auto lock on or off. I did off. I want it on. Okay. It's going to cut after one. After I did one. Okay. You don't believe me. Okay. Let's just for fun. Um, oh, I'll do it this way. That one here. Okay, go. So it is a feature from the electronic machine. You see, I don't go the machine. I sched not schedule, but I ask my machine, don't go that fast. My cursor here, don't go that fast because it helps the distortion. Okay, it won't be long. And my marking are done with uh, the sewing revolution rulers. A block ruler. Okay, listen. You heard the cut? See the cut? It's cut. Just my starter. So everything is cut. And at, at the back, it shows my little tail of, uh, of uh, thread. And, well, me, what I like, I like when I insert what I want to show you. You know, I show this to you, you're happy. Ah, oh, yeah, Celine did a good job. But if I show it to you inside my frame that I made, that I sew and I learn and I try, well, it looks more finished, you see? More finished. And to make a frame like this, I'm telling you, it's four hours. First, you know, you have to embroider. I'm embroidered for sure. See, my name is there, Céline Ross. Just for you to remember, Céline Ross. And this is from um, built-in design. And then I did, I did two color, okay. And then I did all my practice here. You see, uh, you know, you play with your machine, you learn your machine. I call it play, but. 
Okay, so this is on the garment and on the practice. So I'm 30 minutes, six seconds. So I wish you nice sewing for the week and I'll be live next week. Bye-bye everybody and have a good week.